Okay, we've got half a dozen architectural ideas that TikTok algorithm has served up to me. The last one's a horror show. So we've got a kitchen island and we've got the worktop slides away to reveal a stair down to your basement. The obvious problem with these sorts of things is what happens if the electronics stops, somebody's down there and they're trapped. I mean, I suppose they could probably get through those cupboards, but you also need to have two meters of headroom on the stairs at all points, including on the landings top and bottom. So if you're walking up and your head's bumping into that, it contravenes the UK building regs, but it's a nice idea. I'm not entirely sure we'd be able to pull this one off in the UK though. Next up, oh my God. Again, what happens if the power goes? Does this thing just, you know, fall back down? What happens if there's a fire, the power goes out and you're stuck up against the ceiling? Presumably you would not actually sleep up against the ceiling. Although she seems to be attempting it. It's an interesting idea. It's obviously the kind of thing you would use in a space saving solution if you had a really tiny property. This does not look like it's really tiny. That one might be. And there you have, you know, flexible storage. It's clever and it, you know, operates on a counterweight. Not entirely sure we'd be able to get that one past the building regs either. This is small, but simple, you know, nice. You've got a stone wall, you've got an aluminium frame door and you've got your little timber notch to hold the handle. I've done doors in the past into buildings where we've set the door as close to the adjacent wall as possible and we've had to form a pocket here so we just scoop out a bit of the plasterboard, put some insulation at the back of it, line it again and just you know letterbox size enough that the handle can slot in so the door can open 90 degrees. Again the building regs require that entrance doors or doors on a fire escape route have to open 90 degrees. Sometimes the simplest things are the best. We've got a pool and we've got this smooth hydraulic cover with, I, I'm guessing that's AstroTurf. I just, I can't imagine actual turf surviving that and not sliding into the pool. So it must be fake. Never done one of these, but would like to try. So we've got double glazing, but it's filled with sand as a sort of privacy idea. This is going to fail the building regs because, bit of physics, if you fill the cavity with something solid, it's suddenly going to become a lot more transmissible to heat. Heat will get through it. The reason there's double glazing, there's a cavity in double glazing, is that air is actually very poor at conducting heat. If you trap air, it will prevent heat or at least slow down heat from going from the hot to the cold. Uh, but if you fill it with something solid like sand, which is basically just crushed up rock, it's going to become a lot more transmissible. So I can imagine that, clever though it is, is not going to be something we could actually specify in the UK. And this, oh god, fake architecture, right? You, you know, I've ranted about this in the past, Rant incoming, yeah, against brick wall. Okay, one on the one hand, there's the aesthetic issue. Why not just use real tiles? But then if they're doing this inside, that's one thing. But this guy's doing it outdoors. That is just going to weather. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how strong the glue is. That is going to come off the wall with enough frost, sun, rain, and wind. That's, that's finished. I've seen it done on, on ceilings. You, know, you get buildings in the 1960s and 70s where they stuck on, you know, adhesive-backed foam tiles. But uh, this idea of making it look like it's a, uh, it's a tiled wall outside a building. Uh, it's it's never going to work internally. Yeah, fine, we could we could make that work. But on the outside of a building, are you out of your mind? That's never going to survive. Anyway, if you have any other fake architecture videos that you've seen on TikTok, send me a link. Tag me in the comments. I'll have a look at them.